Per ardua ad astra. The motto of the Royal Air Force means through difficulties to the stars. The past year has shown us plenty of difficulties. We've had a low membership from the COVID-19 pandemic and we've been unable to host in-person events. We are in crisis and when in crisis, it's time for change. We need to bring our JCL back to its glory and I'm the candidate to do that. I'm Kyler Hokendorn Ecker and I hope to have your vote for BLS JCL Consul. The BLS JCL Consul needs a few things. First of all, experience. I've been the BLS JCL parliamentarian for the previous year and been a member of the JCL for the past four years. I've been to every national and every state convention possible and competed in countless Kirtaman tournaments for BLS JCL. I know the workings of the constitution from my term as parliamentarian, and I know what each office's responsibilities are. So I feel confident in keeping track of the other officer's duties and schedules. Secondly, commitment. I'm dedicated to the JCL and I see it as my foremost club. I will make the time in my schedule to ensure I stay on top of everything I need to as president. I've come to many of the service events this year and I always strive to bring everything I can to the JCL, a club that has given me everything. Third, initiative. I plan to take real action during my term as consul if I'm elected. I would work with the publicity to organize an early year event to increase our membership and work with the webmaster to fix the website and make it clear what the official website is. Most of all, we need transparency and ease of access. We've had our difficulties, but now, Ad Astra to the stars. Now, I'll move on to the questions. First, how will you ensure effective communication between officers, members, and sponsors? I would use a variety of different platforms for different situations. I would have a Google Calendar to keep schedules for each officer and let them know what their deadlines are. And I would use the officer's Discord server to provide important announcements and information to the board. I would send emails to the sponsors, notifying them of any important decisions made or events planned. And then I would finally send a monthly email to the entire BLS JCL membership, letting them know of all events, deadlines, and opportunities in the upcoming month, as well as specific emails when those events are immediately coming up. Secondly, if you are not elected, how will you stay involved in the BLS JCL? I love the JCL and I have absolutely no intent of abandoning it if I'm not elected. I will keep up my studies for Kirtaman competitions, I will keep volunteering at service events, and I will keep attending and offering to help out in events if anything is necessary, even if I'm not an officer. The JCL and the people in it mean much more to me than winning an election. Thirdly, how would you deal with an officer neglecting their duties? I feel close to everyone on the JCL board, and I believe it's important to cultivate a personal relationship with each member of the board. At first, I would privately speak with them to check on, on what the situation is and if there's something getting in the way of the duties. If they continue to slack off on what they need to do, I would send a more serious email and eventually meet with them with the other members of the board to confront them about their duties and encourage them to get to work. I think important to be understanding at first but also to be firm and make sure that the board puts in what they need to. Thank you, and I hope I have your vote for consul.